hey, it's February and it's time for a house update. Now, when I thought about doing this, I felt like there wasn't a lot that had changed since the last update in September, I believe. But then I watched that update and I was like, oh yeah, there's there's been some stuff. Not as much as we wanted, but you know, life gets in the way and winter weather and work. Anyway, let's start off in the mudroom. So, the mudroom in September. Uh, not a lot was done with it, but as you can see, it is basically in order. Painted the room. Kind of a darker gray, almost blue color. That's me. Bathroom, pretty much the same. I suppose we did add clear boxes, basically, they are. Um, just a bend that we cut a hole out of, and it's way cheaper for that size than a litter box. And the dog doesn't get into it as much, but this is the mudroom. It's pretty much washer dryer, uh, coats and jackets, laundry area, pet space, dog crate, cat tower. We have cats now, all their food and stuff like that. Shoes. So, phase one of this is basically complete. Phase two would be like, uh, I don't know what's it called? Cabinets, cabinets for shoes and jackets and stuff like that, but I think this one's turned out pretty well. Not too much has changed in the kitchen. Our plants are in here for the winter. The ones that have not been destroyed by the cats or dealt with plant problems, but uh, a little bit of decor is different, I'm sure. And the pantry is mostly done. One of the shelves isn't painted, and I think one was supposed to go up, but it is a functional pantry now. Dining room again has more decor up. Otherwise, not too much has changed. Still needs to be finished with the paint. Though we have had some issues with scuffing. One thing I did forget to mention in the dining room is that we have replaced the curtains in there, so nice long black. I think velvet curtain, I want to say. Um, haven't quite replaced them all in here yet. Bedroom has actually been rearranged a little bit. Bed's on a different side. But a lot to do in here still. The front room's also way different than the last video. Obviously, it's painted as well, a lighter gray. Some of our Christmas decorations still need to get put away, but this is eventually going to be the library. As you see, we've got some more temporary bookshelves in the space. We did get some more hand-me-downs when it comes to furniture and and uh, couches. That couch was supposed to be upstairs, but our upstairs stairwell disagreed with that statement based on physics and reality. So that is kind of an issue with our upstairs area is that furniture needs to go up and needs to be able to be taken apart in order to get up there. We also did replace curtains or whatever is up here with these blinds that I'm probably not going to be able to describe terribly accurately, but they're trying to make the room a little bit warmer. And we also like them, so, you know, honeycombed blinds help insulate. This room is fairly cold because there's nothing actually underneath it besides the crawl space, so it's something we'll be addressing when it's a little bit warmer out. Downstairs in the basement, not too much as happened. This is kind of still the storage area, though I guess we want that to be the living room at a certain point, and that's pretty far away. But something of note, we did lose our water heater. Luckily, we have a warranty on the appliances of the house because they were so old when we bought it, and this died under warranty. So guess what? We got a new one, a modern water heater, because our old one was pretty old. So old, in fact, that it decided to start leaking water through the top of it. But Replacing the water heater involves kind of updating some of the things that are attached to it to make them like, you know, a gas line you can actually turn off or replacement gas and water lines, I guess. I don't know what that is. I guess both water lines anyway, because I guess they just sawed right through the old ones to replace it. But uh, paid not nearly as much as I should have for a water heater replacement because it's under warranty. So that's good. The upstairs is still kind of a mess right now because we've determined that before we're going to change the flooring which we still have up there we're probably going to change the walls too because all that crap's going to 
fall down on the, the floor. It'd rather be the old floor than the new floor when it comes to cleaning and stuff like that. But so when it's warmer, projects are definitely going to be changing out the wall that is up there and the floors and all that. That is still one big giant thing that hasn't really been tackled, and that's the part where it's like, crap, we should have been able to tackle that before it got too cold. That and also the insulation in the attic or something you wanted to do before winter set in, and it just didn't happen. So I didn't think I'd have, like I said, I didn't have to think I'd have much for this video until I watched the old one and it was like, oh man, we did get some stuff done, and man, it was green outside and nice and not a icy, wintry hellscape. So looking forward to spring, both for the fact that it'll be spring and for the fact that we can actually do more projects around the house. Hope you enjoyed.